This video is to ask a question and I, and I'll show you what I mean. I would like to know, it says YouTube takes a 45% cut of ad revenue from creators, leaving the remainder, leaving the remaining 55% for the creator. YouTube also takes a 30% cut of membership revenue. I've noticed this before, and I did do research on my own, but I'm a little confused. I'm asking because I wanna know if it's a legitimate business expense. This was in my account. You've met the payment minimum. It was in my account a few days ago, $211.32. Now it says $206.38. Then it says minus taxes. Okay. All right. So they they took out the taxes already. 211.32 minus 206.38. So they took out $4.94 for taxes. This has always boggled me. And I could ask people around town, like people that I know watch YouTube. I don't know anyone personally that runs a YouTube channel that earns money. And I would like to know, can I report on my tax return YouTube 45% cut of ad revenue as a legitimate business expense. I would like to enter it using my self-employed QuickBooks as it's happening in real time. I've been practicing that, doing everything on the fly, multitasking, instead of waiting till the end of the year and being overwhelmed by everything. That's what I use the self-employed QuickBooks for. It's always boggled me. And I do receive a 1099 from Google. And I submit that into TurboTax. So I'm assuming I'm paying taxes on the money that they're sending me. The, my cut, my 55% cut. So I'm asking, can I write off YouTube's 45% cut of ad revenue. Oh, cool. <laughs> and, you know, like somebody sent me a $10 super chat when I said nobody ever sends me super chat, which is true. <laughs> I just, I don't get those, but I also don't go live. People who go live, that's a lot of work. It's dedication. They have an audience. <clears throat> they go live. They have, you know, Dozens and plus more people watching them at one time. So they get a lot of super chats. That's time. That's a business. This is not a hobby for us YouTube creators. It's a business. And they took $3. So I'm assuming that's what that means. YouTube also takes 30% cut of membership revenue. I guess they, they consider that a membership revenue, the super chat. They took $3 from the $10 that someone sent me. And I thank you. I thank you very much. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's only the 11th and I already earned $50 in YouTube revenue, but I've been working really hard. If you follow me, you know that. So I would really appreciate any YouTube creator that earns income from YouTube, do you count that as a legitimate business expense? Because I would like to keep track of that and write it off as a business expense. I really do appreciate any help, any guidance. I'll leave the comments op open. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to any YouTube creator that generates income from YouTube. And you can help me with that question. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video clip. Here's some tips. It took me three years to at least get comfortable 
learning how to use TurboTax to prepare my own tax return. You know what's so great about, well, there's, there's two things. You Well, if you follow me, you know I amended my taxes. They make it very easy that you can add expenses or change something and resubmit it and, you know, in less than a day you have an answer and they say accepted, not accepted, whatever it may be. I really like that. That makes that makes your life so much easier that you don't have to go to an accountant. Always go to an accountant. Always go to a tax preparer. Teach yourself how to be your own tax preparer. And another thing, say if anything ever happens to your home, you know you you keep a corner. I have I'm, I'm I I have worked in the past, well, in the past 10 years to simplify my life as much as possible. My entire world is in one crate and I have one little pile of folders that are my tax returns. If anything ever happened to my tax returns, because I'm doing them on, because I'm doing it on TurboTax, well, you can always go back in time. I, I think it's up to seven years I believe, I know they tell us to hold our tax return seven years in case need be that you have it. I think it's the same on TurboTax. It's on, the, it's on their server. They hold it. So if anything ever happened and you lost your folder, well, make sure you got a good printer. Shut up for one afternoon. Get on TurboTax. Print that out. Done. You got your tax return reprinted. You do it. You teach yourself how to become your own tax preparer. And here's one more tip that I just did recently. I was like, that's a really clever idea. I keep envelopes, just regular envelopes of my business expenses, like things I buy for my car because I'm a gig worker. Anything that's a business expense that I have a receipt for. I don't have a lot, but I do have a few envelopes. I took pictures of all those receipts. It's just receipts. And I put them in a, I, I emailed them to myself. Now, I know if you pay extra money, you can use the TurboTax. Um, I'm sorry, the self-employed QuickBooks. Take a sn snapshot of your rece receipt. But then you got to pay for a service to grab those receipts if need be. I didn't go that far with that yet. But it gave me the idea, well, why can't I take a picture of my own receipts and put them, email them to myself and put them in a folder? So if I ever get, if I ever needed them and I lost them, well, let me just go into my Gmail accounts. You know, it's only receipts. And I have a couple of folders and a couple of email accounts. You know, say 2024 was the first time I thought about it. I said, that's a really good idea. So if I ever lost my receipts, well, I could just print them out. No big deal. Because on the top of every receipt or on the bottom, wherever there's a space, I write the date bold and I write why I bought what I bought for my business. So it's easy to read. So you're just, you're just training yourself to become your own tax preparer and keep everything organized. You stick it out long enough, you be fast. I mean, I, I'm really happy I struggled the way I did and that I'm confident enough to do my own tax return because I don't miss making, you know, making an appointment to go to a tax place and, you know, bring it in my folder. And that, that, honestly, my experience, accountants or tax preparers don't have your best interests at heart. Not at all. That's just my experience. So to learn how to do it myself, those are three... Um, I guess tips, things that you should know as an independent contractor, as an online entrepreneur, you're, you're a YouTube creator, you know, you're becoming your own boss, you're self-employed, you can do it yourself, with a lot of practice, all of a sudden it becomes second nature. You don't need that much time to spare to prepare your tax return. Learn to do everything on the fly. Learn to have everything organized. So when need be, you have everything at your fingertips. Done.